Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. There is a deal reached on a, a ludicrous law that was signed into place regarding the, the state's budget. And they ripped away benefits from Gold Star families and uh, uh, survive, you know, surviving spouses, spouses, dependents, all that. And then there was a push to repeal it. And then the state Senate wanted to try to kind of keep some of the stuff in there, but then maybe not. And it has been a fiasco. This is in the state of Virginia. And now look, here's the thing. Virginia might not be your state. I get it. But believe me, all of the states watch each other to see what they can do, what they can get away with, what sort of good and bad things that they're doing for veterans and how that kind of plays out. We have been very loud as a community with getting this information out there. Uh, for those that know Clay over at the CivDiv, we have that joint, joint channel called Veterans Daily, uh, joint channel that we do. And Clay lives in Virginia, um, and he's said it a thousand times. So he lives in Virginia, and um, you know we've we've all tried to get the word out, um, especially there in in that state. Um, and it looks like things are moving forward. So for those that are interested in seeing how this all played out, uh, even if it affects you or not, uh, let's jump into it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really, really appreciate it. All right, Virginia lawmakers reached deal over military tuition benefits. The deal restored the benefits and eligibility requirements that military families were promised. Uh, lawmakers in Virginia have reached a deal on the battle over tuition benefits to military families for nearly, and let me throw this out there just to put it in perspective for everyone. The veterans in Virginia who are receiving disability compensation, okay, only the disability compensation piece, not any sort of um, other benefits that are coming in post 9-11 GI Bill, uh, retirement, uh, VR&E, Chapter 35, none of these other monetary benefits that are coming into that state, right, into the pockets of that state's constituents uh, and being spent most likely in that state. Just disability compensation in the state of Virginia is nearly six billion dollars per year, six billion with a B, dollars coming into the pockets of veterans in that state and being spent in that state, the most of it, you would think. So to rip, a, rip away uh, benefits from gold star families uh, and uh, spouses and dependents is just ludicrous. All right, so anyway, let's jump on. Um, for nearly two months, gold star and severely disabled veteran families have uh, panicked about whether Virginia would cover the cost of their college tuition, a benefit they were promised, but that was suddenly taken away during the state budget process. Making education affordable to all students is a priority for us all, said State Senator uh, Lucas, chair of the Senate Finance and Appropriations Committee, said in a statement. The deal would fully restore the benefits and eligibility requirements that military families were promised. It also adds nearly $100 million in state surplus money to help fund the program and calls for a nonpartisan study to help understand how to sustain the program long term. This agreement ensures that there will be, or excuse me, let's start that over. This agreement ensures that there is a full repeal of the changes adopted in May to the VMSDEP, uh, which is the education program for the survivors and uh, spouses and dependents, and related tuition fee waivers uh, and provides financial certainty for military families attending college as I had hoped for. Uh, this is um, from, uh, I'm not sure, DEL, a delegate maybe? Uh, oh yeah, I think that they're the House of the De House of Delegates. I think there. So Luke uh, Turan, uh, who is also the chair of the House Appropriations Committee, said in a statement, "Both bodies have listened to our constituents. Right? 
listened to our constituents. If we're not loud, believe me, there's many groups out there that are loud. If we're not loud, we're going to get stepped on. It's just that's the way it is, sadly. All right. So we have listened to our constituents, and we look forward to working together in the interim on this and other issues. Earlier this year, Virginia's bipartisan budget bill changed the program's eligibility requirements, rendering it practically useless and leaving families wondering how they would pay for college. The Virginia Military Survivors and Dependents Education Program paid college tuition for spouses and children of service members either killed or left severely disabled as a result of their service. Let's take that benefit away. Sounds great. We could save a few million dollars. Whatever. The situation has been a mess for nearly two months and every attempt to clean it up has failed. Lawmakers said the program cost is skyrocketing and colleges have to raise tuition costs for other students to pay for the program. During the budget process, Governor Glenn Youngkin proposed cutting tens of millions of dollars to support the program, but the budget altered the program's eligibility requirements drastically. Upon the, dealing, upon the deal passing, Youngkin said in a post on X, a full clean repeal with additional financial support for the VMS DEP program, uh, unencumbered by any other provisions, is great news for our military heroes, first responders, and their families. And that was his, uh, his X post. So here's the thing. We have two sets of benefits that we need to pay attention to. One is on the federal side, so our federal benefits, you know, primarily through the VA, Department of Veterans Affairs, and function through the uh, VBA, the Veterans Benefits Administration. Then we have our state benefits, and they vary per state. Every state is different. Um, they may offer the same thing, but might have different thresholds, qualif uh, qualifiers, different amounts. For example, you might be in one state where they, uh, if you're a 100% rated uh, veteran, maybe they reduce your property tax liability by uh, $100,000 of value. So let's just say if you owned a $500,000 house, they would reduce that value down to $400,000 for tax purposes and tax you on $400,000 of it. So not a huge savings. While other states may say, hey, if you're a 100% rated veteran, we're going to eliminate your taxes. You pay zero real estate taxes on that piece of property as your primary residence. So there's other states that will have education benefits for spouses and dependents uh, out there. Some are more strict than others. Uh, some uh, might allow for a dependent to get free school if they're a dependent of a disabled veteran at any percentage, while uh, uh, they might also have it to be where if you're 100% rated, your spouse can also go. So all that to say is that we have to keep our eyes on two moving kind of targets, the VA federal stuff and then our state stuff. And I, the way I look at it is if one state does something good for veterans, we need to share that because other states need to see what that state's doing uh, for veterans and hopefully they'll jump on board with something similar. And vice versa, if a state does something horrific for veterans, we need to speak up as a community um, to help our brothers and sisters. With that, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.